Hello, so we are back and this time we have a nice laptop to repair. It is nice. Now check here. i5 and RTS graphics. Proper dirty, but that's not our problem. Uh, this job is coming from a local repair shop, not turning on. So if we can fix this, we can have a few pizza. What do you think? Now, no power on means we are not plugging the power. Wait, there are no screws on the back, lol. I said it's coming from a local repair shop? I think I said. Then let's open the laptop straight away. It doesn't have screws. And let's see what is the problem. So the laptop is open. Apart from the fact that fan is missing, and this has RTX graphics, yeah, looks good otherwise. So what we are checking first? First we are checking the main power rail if it's shorted, and most likely it is shorted, you can bet it's shorted. So you have first MOSFET, second MOSFET, and you have the current sensor, and you can check here for short, and we have one ohm. Let me unplug the battery. Without the battery, same story, we have 1.8 ohms, you can see. So clearly the motherboard is shorted. Now let me take out the heatsink. And now really you can put your bet on the CPU or GPU. Now it's a very small probability to be a shorter capacitor. Very, very small. But I'm not that lucky. So the heatsink is out. Okay, so how we are checking? Power supply, we are lowering the voltage. Doesn't really matter, but yeah, let's lower the voltage. Let's come with the thermal camera. So ground, oh lol. Okay, okay, okay. We can be lucky. We can be lucky. Check there. You haven't spot that, huh? Let's see together. What is this? Huh? What is this? Liquid damage, you said? Yeah, it is liquid damage. My concern is that black pin from that chip. Or this black mark on this MOSFET. But yeah, let's clean it quickly before we are uh, before we are checking. Let's clean it. But you know, the chance to have a pizza today, or few pizza today, is very high. Very very high. I can feel the smell. I mean, check that that capacitor is, I can see it's blow up, you know, from here. So check here, it has a big, big crack. You can see here, this capacitor. Yes, yeah, so most likely that capacitor is gone. Not sure what is here. But let's clean it. Yeah, it's looking good. It's looking good. Let's dry. I mean, you know what? You know what? Before you are checking, let me remove that capacitor. Yeah, because it's pointless to check with the thermal camera when I can clearly see that capacitor uh, is cracked. This one. And the capacitor is out. No capacitor, no short capacitor, right? Let's check now the main power rail. Let's see if we are lucky. So the main power rail is not shorter. That's crazy. Lol. So actually we can plug a charger uh, into this laptop. 
But wait, do you think there can be liquid damage on the other uh, parts of the motherboard? No. No, everything else is looking good. Okay, let's put the back the heatsink. I'm lucky today. I'm lucky. The heatsink is back. We don't care about the fan anyway. Let me plug the charger. I mean, not sure if it will work with my charger. Um, Acer, blue, blue Acer. Yeah, this is the one. Yeah. Nineteen volts. About how much current we have? Yeah, we have a four point six amps. Plug in the charger, and it's fine. Let's plug the battery. Plug in the battery. Plug it. I swear something blow up. I swear something blow up. And I heard the power supply clicking. It means the main power is shorted. The main power rail has two ohms. That's crazy. You know? You know why? Just say it. Just say it. Why? Why do you think that happened? Because I'm a good guy. Yeah? I could remove all capacitors. And we didn't have this problem. <laughs> of course another capacitor blow up. There are a lot of, like, rusty capacitors. Yeah. Good. Let's go and check which one blow up. Uh, not sure which one blow up. Hmm. No. Okay. I can't say which one. But let's check with the let's check with the thermal camera. But let's see, let's see. Let's lower the voltage again. One volt. We need ground, we have ground. And plus here. Come on, this is not a proper ground. What about this? Yeah, one amp, one second. That's not, not a proper ground. Yeah, it is a proper ground. It is. So which one is shorted, huh? Which one? Which one? That one. Yeah, I seen it. I seen it. Yeah. You see, every time when you're a nice guy, bad things can happen. This one, right? No, I need hot air. And the capacitor is removed. You know what? Feels bad. I mean, if I have this capacitor good, it's okay. But I'm not sure if this is good. Because we are leaving this MOSFET without capacitors. <laughs> you know what I mean? So this MOSFET has one, two, three, four capacitors. I mean, at least one good capacitor has to be here. And not that small one. Mm. Uh, probably we have to come back just to be sure uh, we are not leaving that MOSFET without capacitor. But let's check. We still have short on the main power rail. Let's see. No short. No capacitor, no short capacitor, right? Yeah. Let's put back the heatsink. And hopefully nothing, it will blow up this time. I mean, before replacing, before, uh, you know... Uh, we have to be sure um, the motherboard is good. 
So then you have liquid damage on power supplies. A lot of bad things can happen. Okay, let's plug the battery. Battery is plugged. Let's plug the charger, 19 volts. Good. So plug in the charger. Everything seems to be fine. Let's press the power button. Pressing the power button. It's coming on, lol, I can't believe. We have picture, that's crazy. Uh, it's work, I can't believe. I can't believe it's working. Ha <laughs> ha. Nah, we are okay, we are fine, we are fine. Can't believe actually it's working. So, um, so we have some pizza today, right? Nah, don't worry, it doesn't need fun, it's fine. It has one fun here. You see the this big heat sink is going to this fan also. It's not our problem anyway. Now I think I will uh I think I will stop this video when why is not charging? One second. The battery is plug it's taking nothing. One second. When you see a laptop not charging, you go straight to the first MOSFET, right? And first MOSFET is not shorted. Lol, so why is not charging? Second MOSFET is good. Let's plug the charger again. It's taking 10 milliamps. Okay, it is charging. No, 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 no. Because I don't have enough current, uh, if you power on the laptop, the battery it will. Uh, and the moment you don't have enough current in your charger, uh, the charger it will get disabled. Like we have nine hundred sixty milliamps, right? Now pressing. Actually, the laptop is coming on straight away. Uh, you see exactly what I told you. So we don't have the charging sign. So in order to get the charging sign, I have to unplug the charger, plug the charger back, but the current is too high and the power supply clicking and uh, yeah, I can see the red uh, LED on the power supply. Because I don't have enough current, but everything is fine. If it's off, yeah, obviously it will charge. Plug in the charger. Wait on one second, it's not off. Yeah, it's taking over four amps. Come on, go off. Yeah, it's off. And now the battery is charging fine with 1.5 amps. <sighs> what a lucky case. Hmm? Yeah, okay, you know what I will do? Before I'm doing anything else, I'll try to find out from the computer show what happened with the fan. And... Uh, then maybe I'll fit a capacitor there. But anyway, I will say thank you for being here with me. Earning a pizza together, together. Uh -huh. And probably I will see you on the next one. Yeah, this this was a this this was a lucky one because you know liquid damage exactly next to the MOSFET and power supplies. A lot of bad things can happen. So yeah. We were lucky this time. See you on the next one. Bye. Hey, if you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button and you can get instantly access to our uh, members only cool collection and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay, where you can find some cool and unique products, United States eBay store, or our Patreon page. Thank you.